It's officially underway right now. Absolutely, but another gathering at the TPC River Highlands is just as important. It's Women's Day. Yeah. Caitlin Francis is anchoring our coverage from the course for Great Day at 9A. We're going to start out with her before we head to Marcy. And Kate, are you starting to feel the heat a little bit more out there? Oh, it is warming up, that's for sure. We were uh, just under a little awning, getting a little shade for a second, which I think is what we recommend people do if they are coming out here. And let me tell you, people are coming out for round one of the Travelers Championship tournament play, which is already underway. First tee time was 8.05 this morning. We're getting ready to see Scotty Scheffler tee off at 10.30. A returning champ Keegan Bradley tees off just before that, I think 10.20. So a lot of excitement taking place here at the TPC River Highlands, but we are right here at the first T building, which is right across from where Women's Day is. So I've been hearing some uh, like music and cheers and Marcy Jones. I think I can hear her across the way too. I have Mark Moriarty though here with me this morning from first T. You're going to see a little bit more about that coming up in our Travelers Championship special tonight at seven o'clock with Joe Zone and Aaron Conley. But Mark, thank you so much. First of all, you do so much wonderful work here. Can you just tell everybody at home what First Tee is? Sure. Well, thank you for that. And we're glad to have FSB as our mm -hmm. media partners. Uh, First Tee is a youth development organization. Golf, we say, is our classroom. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to, you know, really develop a love of the game for young people, no matter their background, but as importantly, to make sure that they're learning things like developing confidence, making new friends and having those positive interactions. So we're proud to do that all across the state. So, and this is a national organization. You have First Tee here at the TPC in Cromwell, um, but this is something that you do all year round. It's like, it could be hot, it could be raining, it could be, you literally have these kinds of courses and development for kids all the time. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're lucky to have our, our headquarters here in Cromwell so we can be a 12 month program. Certainly the winter in Connecticut can be fairly long, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of our outreach is done in PE classes. So all across the state, we have about 180 schools where golf is part of the curriculum in PE. And it's really just that early introduction, giving young people a chance to try the game, come to the game and then take advantage of all those opportunities. And then when they do come outdoors, we're proud to have locations throughout the state where they can hopefully get to the game and to our programs within their community. That's fantastic. So if um, there are kids or families or schools looking to get involved, how do they do that? Yeah, you can call us if people still use the phone, 860-882-1660. Otherwise, look us up on the website. We're always happy to have a conversation, uh, certainly with young people looking to sign up for the summer, uh, which is pretty full, or the fall. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, you know, always looking for interested adults in the community who might want to volunteer to help us with our work impacting young people. Well, and that's a really great transition because obviously we were just talking about the Travelers Championship special. Mark, you're going to be joining Aaron Connolly and Joe Zone just a little bit later at 7 o'clock this evening. Right across the way, you can see the media tent over there. And um, you're going to be talking a little bit about a very special man I was able to uh, sit down with last week because you're handing him an award this weekend at the First Tea Breakfast. So I don't want to give all of it away, but we just want to make sure people tune into the special later tonight, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we know at First Tee that coaches and mentors are the biggest um, asset we have when it comes to working with kids. And so this individual you're talking about represents the many coaches we have and, yeah. and, and what they do, really great work with young people. Well, thank you so much. You're doing fantastic work here in the state and across the country. Mark Moriarty, thank you so much. Uh, also fantastic work being done right across the way for Women's Day. Obviously, we want to make sure more women are getting involved in the game of golf. Marcy, how's it going over there? Great. Good morning, Kate. I'm going to step out of the way so that everybody at home can see what we're seeing inside of the tent right now. It is nice and cool in here, not to brag. I know you're roasting out there. It is kind of a, a women of CBS day as well, because right now we have Amanda Balionis on stage, uh, the sports reporter, of course, and she is interviewing two incredible women. This is really the social media influencers panel. So first up, we've got West Hartford native. We've got Tess Sinatra. She's become a well-known food content creator.
She, uh, you can check out all of her stuff at lambchop underscore 97 on Instagram. She has millions of views on TikTok, and she really focuses on her culinary repertoire with daily recipes and cooking up lots of cool comfort food and how to make a lot of interesting things from scratch. We've also got Carly Shapiro. She is very well known sister snacking on Instagram and TikTok. Again, millions of views, and she tries food all over the state and beyond. Both of these women are answering questions about how they got into social media, how it's kind of evolved their careers over the years, because both of them didn't really get into this with the goal of being influencers in mind. It's really the way that their careers were going, and it was the avenue to really put all of their incredible content onto a platform for millions of people to view. So it's been really interesting to be able to share some of their tips and their tricks with all of the women out here. And then, of course, we have the first lady of CBS, Leslie Stahl, who uh, really needs no introduction, but Emmy Award-winning CBS journalist. She's reported for 60 Minutes since 1991. Absolutely incredible. And she's going to be chatting with all of the women here as well. So lots uh, to celebrate today. And, of course, as you mentioned, Kate, it's really all about having a seat at the table for women so that they can enjoy discussions about everything from business to personal life and a big part of that is getting women involved in the game of golf. Again, that number, 28% of women know how to play golf. They really are trying to bump that up so that they can uh, participate on the golf course and not be so intimidated when business deals are being done there. And it's very empowering, and women are capable of incredible things. I personally think they could run the world, but that's just me. We are going to have lots more coming up at noon, 1230 and beyond, so make sure you stay with us, and we're going to send it on back to you, Kate. All right, Marcy, that's fantastic. And I love the partnerships that take place here throughout the week at the Travelers Championship uh, through Women's Day here at First Tee, which we're standing behind the building here. We were just talking to Mark Moriarty, and they're actually hosting an event following Women's Day, directly following Women's Day with some of the ladies who are participating in that event. They're doing a drive, chip, and putt event uh, for those ladies to learn a little golf skills right behind us here. So it's a fantastic partnership that's taking place place. A lot of those types of events happening all week long. And of course, we've got you covered through the duration of Travelers Championship Week uh, right here on the WAX. And of course, over on Channel 3, we'll keep you posted and we're going to have much more coming up in just a few. Mark Robbins is going to join me uh, coming up in, in just a few minutes, guys. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, and Kate. stay cool out there. Yeah, absolutely. Stay hydrated. Absolutely. And what makes social media so dangerous for our kids? We're going to be talking about this.